Vancouver and spent about three weeks doing kind of pre-production, you know, like actually rehearsing for, you know, like getting the songs down. So like we're playing them live. And then uh, uh, we did kind of like a uh, demo tape thing where we played about, put 19 songs on a 24 track just to see how they sounded and play them for John Kaladner. And, and, you know, so we could get an idea of where the album was going and if we really needed anything else, you know. Uh, we had all the elements and then we started recording in earnest and most of those demo tapes ended up being the bed tracks for the songs so consequently when we were doing the album when we were finishing up the album when we went online in vancouver we had an a-list and a b-list okay the a-list had love in an elevator big hit right okay, it's finished it's happened um what it takes big hit um but the stuff like Monkey on My Back, Voodoo Medicine Man, all the B list stuff was kind of put in the back burner. And I hated that and I fought for it for, for months. I you worked on a little longer. You yourself said you wouldn't want to spend all day on a song. No. So if we don't get a song that just happens to be a little hard, like, you know, hey, whatever. Yeah, but I'm the Walrus by the Beatles took a long time to yeah, but also If it was approached like this, it had been put in the back burner. That's all. I can't you can't dis you can't dismiss that. Is that, is that totally well, not true? No. I mean, I, you know, I had a passed on for two of these. Yeah, in at that the studio, case. we'd have never wound up doing sniffing, never wound up doing monkey on my back if I didn't go, Jesus. You know, just that little bit of nuts. I don't, I don't want to sway anybody. That's how I feel. The process of picking out which songs to work on is uh, excruciating, uh, fascinating. Well, in that case, you know, we should go to the York Theater. Get an eight track in there, demo all these songs, finish them. Why so is that? Like, We're doing it here. Yeah, but it only cost you 50 bucks a day there. Here it's costing you, you know, 1500. What are you going to let that get in the way of, of art? <laughs> Something that might come out and gross you 15 million? No, obviously not, but I'm just saying. Uh, theoretically, all that should have been done before we were here. Like last album, we had all the songs, I think, we had all the songs kind of up. No, we were. Mm -hmm. It was the same thing. We ran to Steve and wasn't ready. But, you know, there's a certain amount of magic there, you know? I mean, if you come in here and it's like, pick, pick it out of a garbage can, everybody be doing it. It's not that easy. It's the hard stuff, you know? Uh, I just think we should do what we set out to do. Get these songs done. So what do you want to work on tonight? It's a wicked tense. Are you kidding? It's, uh, those are your babies there. And people are coming in and telling you which ones are, you know, going to go up and which ones aren't. It's, uh... It's hard because, you know, you believe in the songs and you work on them. I mean, we've got songs we've worked on for, you know, over and over and over again, and they just don't, they don't make it. Jim's ballad, definitely, we have to cut. Because it's a good song, too. Hey, but it doesn't have lyrics on it. Well, I know. That's so, you see, what I'm saying here is, where are you judging? I'm judging. Whether the song is great or not, by what? If, by you got, if, you're, if you're using the lyrics as a mirror, how can you say that about it? Well, I'm using the lyrics and the songs on the air. If there were good lyrics for Jim's song, it would be hit. Some of those songs may yeah. stand up like a bat, like Jim's, like that ballad stands up by itself musically to begin with. So, you know, we know it would be that much, it's just going to be that much better. It's a combination of the music and the lyrics. Yeah. For example, I don't get that feeling off news for you, baby. I've heard the lyrics, I've heard the song. To me, it's a good song, but it's not a hit. Good song, but you know, unless a miracle happened with it, which can't happen sometimes, you know, it's not, you know, it's not a great song. The thing is, though, I mean, I don't see any, I don't know if any one of those songs, I mean, I don't know because they're not done, but how many of those songs will actually knock off any of these when these are done? And there's a reason why they're on the English.